Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Thank you for showing up at the channel and this video today. Our channel is about QuickBooks point of sales, so sit down in your seats and get ready to learn something about QuickBooks point of sale. Blah, blah, blah. I can almost speak. All right, today we are going to talk about uh, what I might call a forgotten relic or a remnant of the past. It's, uh, it's a part of the point of sale that a lot of people don't even know is there and I would say well let me throw it out there this is called the dashboard or reports dashboard and this this feature this area was actually pretty prominently displayed in the past uh, 9.0 10.0 of point of sale it was pretty easy to get Two, lots of people became familiar with it and came to depend on the reports dashboard or dashboard uh, because it gave them an easy day-to-day -day snapshot of what was going on in their store. I don't know why they've tucked it away in a corner now in the latest and newest QuickBooks point of sale versions, but we're going to take a look at it and how to get there and what it's for and how you can manipulate it to help you out in your day-to-day. -day. Before we do that, don't forget to click on the link down in the description below. Join up with our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group so that you can get in there and be a part of the community. You can ask questions about errors or how to do something or things that you don't know about and you're curious about. Or you could request a video for this channel. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get all the latest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos all the time. All right, let's get into this. I'm going up on the reports menu in QuickBooks point of sale and right here you can see the second selection is dashboard. It's different than the report center. The report center is where you can make your own reports or look at the pre-made reports. Most of them are featured on this menu already but the dashboard is right here. In some of the older point of sales the dashboard was just like a tab right next to the top and you could get to it super easily it was almost like the main screen was one tab and the dashboard was the next tab and so it was just it was front and center you could see it all the time now the store that I am using hasn't really been used this year so some of these reports are pretty blank because they're set up to be current and you want to see them like like here you can see this year to date compared to last year or this week or month or year compared to last year. Obviously the change is negative 100%, uh, but you can see some of the things that were going on last year. And we got inventory turn, summer, summary with activity, which is like how much certain stuff has sold. And you can you can kind of set this to be organized in different ways. Uh, we have a nice big graph here of the different departments and how much, like in this particular store, we see that novelty tops were a huge thing and uh, other you can drill down into. And so probably they would want to focus on reordering more novelty tops because that seems to be a really big deal here. And then down here we got sales over time and I'm pretty sure this is for last year. They would need to edit and update the time period for this year but you can see they were down there and they kept going up and up and up into the Christmas season so they did pretty good there but yeah this is the dashboard and this is how you can see kind of uh, what the the things that you want to see in your store you can hit customize up here and you are able to add different reports and graphs and statistics and what have you to your dashboard let's see best employee sales so this might show who's doing the best you might have like a leaderboard of of who the best employees are I don't know if you want to put up a competitive type thing there and see who the winner is each month but there's all sorts of things that you can add to your dashboard you can even change how many columns are going on here so that you can add more and more and more to different columns that's four columns bring it down to three columns and just kind of organize it the way that you want to see it. Also, way up here on the right, you can reset this dashboard to the default so that you get back to uh, how it was set up when you originally got your point of sale. So <laughs> I bet a lot of you didn't even know this was here. 
this is an excellent resource in seeing what is going on in your store from day to day. Once again, that was under the reports menu in the dashboard area. I'm kind of surprised they don't even have an icon out here front and center. I guess maybe there's, I guess under this arrow on reports, you can get to it. But yeah, it's kind of tucked away. It's a useful resource. You should check it out in your store. My name's Peter with Black Rock Business. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have any comments or thoughts, go ahead and leave those down below as well. You have yourself an excellent day now. Bye-bye.